What's up guys, Nate here, and today I have a fun video in store for you. So recently I went to Value Village, which is kind of the equivalent of Goodwill here in Canada, even though we do have Goodwills as well, it's just another thrift store. And while I was at this thrift store, I found something I would have never expected to find. That of course being an entire Pokemon binder filled with Pokemon cards. And of course today we have that binder right here, and I mean, little Pikachu on the front already to start, I think that's pretty cool. Now this binder cost me 30 Canadian dollars, cha-ching, and now I I haven't looked through this binder at all. I wasn't really able to look through it at the store too much, but I figured $30, I feel like there's some way we could probably break even on that amount. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be going through this binder, this entire Pokemon collection of someone else who we've never met before, and we're going to be seeing if there's cards in here that would total up to the value of what I spent on this collection. So anyways, guys, I guess without any further ado, let's go down to the minicamp and start checking out this binder. So of course today we're going to have to raise the camera up a little bit to fit most of this binder in frame. It's still going to be pretty hard to see. I'm actually, actually going to move Zapdos, the corner card of the week out of the way today just to make maybe even a little more room so we can back it up a little further but here is the binder of course little Pikachu on the front and then there is the price tag $29.99 so basically $30 here but uh yeah I guess without any further ado let's just flip this first page here and if I don't bump the camera here okay okay so nothing too crazy on this first page a couple cards down here okay so that's a Weedle from Evolution so Evolutions can have some potentially good cards in it so it's a good sign to see and then if you can even see at the top here here there is going to be Lilligan, Chikorita, and Hoppip there, and a couple energy. So the energies I don't think are going to be worth anything, but if we do see any cards in here that I think are going to kind of get us to that value mark, I'll pull them out aside and then we'll price check them after, because I'm sure there's going to be a couple in here that I'm going to miss, and I can't, you know, price out everything. So we're going to hopefully see if there's anything in here that is, you know, eye-catching enough to notice, and I already see, okay, so a holographic Ludicolo there from Detective Pikachu. So Actually, there's a lot of Detective Pikachu cards on this page alone, so, oh, and that's a, honestly a super, super nice Entei there. I think that's from either um, Lost Thunder or, or uh, Celestial Storm, and then there's also, is that another one from Detective Pikachu? That Charmander down there. Actually, you know what? Before we even go, I'm going to pull out both of these cards here to see if we can actually pull these ones out, but I'm going to set the Ludicolo here to the side because I think that could be worth something, and uh, probably the Charmander as well because I think both of these cards could actually potentially scratch some dollars. Now, it may not be a lot, but anything helps and will probably help us get to that total. And then on the actual other page here, without me completely trying to block off my face cam, but I'm going to, so you're not going to see face cam on this one, but there is a Morlul, a Electric, a Energy, and a couple other things at the top that I don't think are going to be worth anything too, too crazy, but we'll keep going through this. So I think that's it for this page in terms of what I'm going to pull out and set aside. But, oh man, okay. Wow. Okay. So actually it's funny. This uh, entire thing is typed and we're definitely going to have to cut off the face cam a couple times here, but that's all right. There is a Charmeleon Ponyton, no Charizard, a couple other Charmanders here, Charmeleon. And yeah, so uh, everything in here is kind of like typed out by, uh, by actual, I guess, typing, which is pretty, pretty cool. And already on this page, more detail. So a lot of Detective Pikachu. Now, typically guys, stamped promos tend to hold a little bit higher value. So we're going to set this one aside too in this Psyduck up here. And I think, okay, the Greninja is also a holographic card. Honestly, I hate these binders and how these ones are made, but we're going to set a little Psyduck out to the side here to price out too. And then probably Greninja sounds like one that could actually be worth something because it is a really, really nice card. It is the Detective Pikachu one, which I know was kind of hit and miss with some people, but we'll go through this one again here and see on the other side again, face cam's gonna get blocked off here, but Magikarp, Staryu, Meryl down there, no real holographics except for the Psyduck and Magikarp, which I don't think are gonna be worth anything just because they're a non-stamp card in there, but that's that's all right. And then on the next page here, as you can see the face cam again, we're gonna have a Poliwag, Alolan, Ninetales, Pikachu, Blitzel, Electabuzz, which is actually kind of neat there. Uh, reverse Holo, Electike from Primal Clash there. That, that's a cool one. I don't think it'll be worth anything just because it's not like a crazy, crazy card. But we'll go to the next page here. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Before I even show you this page, we're going to have to block off the face cam. But guys, that's another stamp promo there. I mean, that's, we'll see. That's a freaking cool one there for sure. And honestly, the condition on these, all of them look like, pretty minty condition surprisingly which you would think sometimes for these collections they they would actually be a little worse but dude a stamped hollow detective pikachu there 
Like this, this could be worth something that would, you know, I'll set that again to the side there. And then the rest of this page doesn't look like anything too crazy, but that, that one there might be something crazy that we could, you know, make a, a decent amount of money back on. Like, we don't know guys. Like I, like I said, usually as I knock over some dice there, usually with these stamp promos, a lot of them tend to go up in value just because they have that stamp on them. They're a little more exclusive, I guess, but I don't know, we'll see. And then I believe up top here, there is a reverse holo Mew, which I'm gonna pull that one out too, just cause actually I really do like that one there. And you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'm gonna remove the face cam and we're just gonna pull up the big cam here and start going through it one page at a time cause this is getting a little annoying cutting off the face cam. All right, now we're in a little better of a position here. I like this a lot better. So again, we were right there with the Mew there that I did pull out and set aside, which the stack is under here somewhere. Yeah, so so far this is our stack of cards here. I need to find a better spot for them temporarily and that is the back side of the binder there but we'll go back over here without trying to spoil too much stuff all right so i think we're good with this page i don't see anything else on here that i think would be too crazy moving to the next page here okay so a hollow licky tongue again from detective pikachu actually two of those which is pretty cool and then a couple other things down here just looking i don't see anything that i think would be worth too much eevee there is cool that is from, I believe, we can get the set logo in there to focus. Yeah, it looks like Cosmic Eclipse, which is pretty cool in there, but as we zoom out here a little bit more, I don't think anything on this page other than maybe the Lickitung would be worth anything too crazy. And then this next page here, not seeing too much on this page as well. I'm kind of looking for like hollows or if there are any like EXs or full arts. Okay, 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 okay. I see some stuff in here. So. Solgaleo immediately, I'm going to pull out, I think that's from Ultra Prism, I can't even tell what the logo on there, that, yeah that's a logo I've never really seen before, but we're definitely going to pull Solgaleo out, and I did see this down here, a Xerneas Prism card, which, whew, okay, I think we're definitely going to pull that one out, because Prism cards could be worth something, I'm not a big expert on it, but they are very cool, but then at the top here, I did see this Snubble stamped Detective Pikachu card, so he must have got the collection box, and that's kind of how all these are coming from, because he has had two out of the three, out of two out of the four so far, now three, so maybe the fourth one's in here as well, so we're going to pull all three of those out really, really quickly. So, one right there, and then our little Xerneas down here, which all these cards are a little bit tricky to get out. All right, so with all of those ones pulled out, let's flip the page, go on to the next, oh, okay, wow, okay, whoa, 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 Secret Rare Weakness Policy from Primal Clash Gold card, that is textured too, okay, we're definitely, definitely pulling that one out. I don't think any of the trainers over here, nothing else really peaks, oh, okay, okay, well this one's a personal favorite here, but this but this Evolution's Energy here I'm definitely using for a deck, so that's going in the personal collection, I, uh, I don't even know if I'm going to price that out, but we'll pull this one out too, and check that out there, but I guess we can just quickly go to the next page, and I'll, I'll pull the stuff out after, a lot of the energies here look like from some of the tag team sets, uh, nothing else in terms of hollows it looks like, over here, but still a lot of cool stuff nonetheless. We'll keep flipping through this. Bunch more energies. Great ball, which I mean is playable still, so that's pretty cool. Lapras up there is quite nice, but it seems like we're kind of getting into more of the modern sets now. Of course, Drowsy up there from Evolutions, but a lot of these are from, I believe, like Cosmic E. or not Cosmic, sorry, Brilliant Stars. I see a bunch in here from. Yeah, okay, so the, we're getting into more of the modern Sword and Shield stuff. Roseanne's back up there. Marie, Torkoal there, Return Label, Cl Dan, I was going to say Clan, geez. Piplup there, and I'm trying to see if there's anything else here that is actually even holographic. Tynamo up there is, but I believe that's actually just from Fusion Strike, so nothing that's too crazy there. And then I guess we can flip the page, and this looks like it's the last page in here. Another Roseanne's backup, but that is a reverse holo pattern. Other than that, I don't think there's anything too too crazy in here. I, mean, I guess we'll flip and just try to see if there's anything I missed, but it looks like the rest of this is all empty in there. So I think for now, we're gonna take the ones I've pulled out of here, price them out, pull them back on the mini cam, and see if they're actually worth something. Alrighty guys, so after we pulled out a couple of the cards, I've now priced them out, and I'm gonna tell you guys, it's kind of insane what some of these cards are actually worth, but We'll start going through them here. I have a little list off to the side here that I'm probably going to be reading off. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm reading off of. But let's just go into it here. So of course the card that I said I really didn't care about pricing wise, but I just really, really wanted for like my personal collection is going to be this XY Evolutions Energy here worth 50 cents. So not too bad to start off there. So again, people are going to be like, oh, 50 cents. But I'm like, Dude, you got to think like everything, you know, starts to add up like 50 cents here and there. It's not hard to get to $30. So 
Uh, we'll keep going through this. Okay, so next up is going to be this Xerneas Prism card, which is going to be worth a dollar and a half, which again, that means we're already up to $2 on a $30 buy, so we'll definitely take that there, put Xerneas to the back. Next up is going to be Solgaleo Reverse Holo here, which surprisingly is actually worth, I believe, 75 cents. Again, nothing too, too crazy. The edges on this one are a little bit scuffed up, so probably closer to like 60, 75 cents. I'm going to say 75 right now, assuming it's near mint, but it probably isn't, so we'll say 75 cents right there and surprisingly enough this Mew reverse hollow is going to be worth eight dollars and this is the kind of stuff I was looking for guys like these kind of wacky reverse hollows that are popular Pokemon that just because they're a little bit older and kind of Sun and Moon or even like XY they're worth a little bit so Mew here from I believe it is Ultra Prism or Celestial Storm either or it is worth eight dollars which is really really crazy and our value is kind of starting to get up there so next up is going to be this Charmander here worth only 50 cents I know it's not crazy it is a super nice reverse hollow though pattern so I mean and it is kind of like a realistic Charmander from obviously Detective Pikachu but I'll take this it's super super cool so we'll put Charmander to the back right there and then next up is going to be our best pal Ludicolo here reverse hollow or actually sorry hollow from Detective Pikachu as well this one is going to come in at a whopping $1.25 which again isn't crazy but a lot of these values are already starting to add up like I'm pretty sure we're already at $10 or more in value from just these couple cards here obviously Mew carrying the weight a lot there but next up here is going to be this weakness policy from Primal Clash surprisingly enough even in a near mint value this card comes in around $8 but I mean hey an $8 card out of these already we've already hit two $8 cards so $16 off of two cards off a $30 buy we will definitely take that one and it's a super nice gold card here definitely one I'm gonna add in my personal binder but um, yeah no a super super nice card there for sure and I'm gonna be honest guys we have four cards left and these values are gonna start to get a little bit crazy here so we're going to go kind of actually I'm gonna change the value like the the order up I had here because the uh, I want the values to kind of go from lowest to highest towards the end so we'll start off with our stamped snubble promo here so this one's going to come in at around three dollars in near mint value and this one is like pristine condition like it, it is really really quite good the, the previous owner of these cards actually surprisingly I was I was shocked to see that they were actually in really really good condition most of them so snubble here is coming in at around three dollars which is super super nice so we'll set that that one to the back there bumping Zapdos and then next up is going to be Psyduck which is also going to come in at around three dollars for a near mint card and again all these stamp promos and Detective Pikachu ones were kept in like really really high condition so I'm super happy to see that so this one is three dollars as well joining Snubble in the back for a Detective Pikachu promos there and then this one surprised me a lot so Greninja Hollow here from Detective Pikachu I would love for you guys before I even say to guess in the comments below but this card is worth five dollars for a holographic card because Greninja is a very popular Pokemon the detective Pikachu movie was I thought pretty fun to watch so I guess the uh, the value of these cards kind of stuck around with the popularity of the movie maybe but yeah this is an actual five dollar card here which is crazy to say so okay so already in the back there we are looking at around I think it's around $30 in value already just from these cards alone and if you remember from what I pulled out early in the video there's one card that I have not priced out yet and it is this a Detective Pikachu stamped promo here. And now you're probably thinking, well, Nate, why would you save this one to the last? It's probably going to be worth $3 the same as the other ones. But according to, and this is the website I used to price everything out at 401 Games, which I've bought and used stuff on the channel multiple times. They are like a game retailer or a car retailer in Canada, and they're pretty reliable. Like, all their prices are very, very reliable, and, it, and it's kind of a good basis to tell what market for cards is. So this one here, which is in, like, pristine condition, like, this is a really, really high condition card, $30 for this Detective Pikachu here, which is crazy to think. Like, we had videos on the channel where we pulled, like, five Vs, and I could be like, whoa, $8. Like, but this card here is th it's $30 for a holo. I mean, obviously, Pikachu is really, really big. It's a stamped promo, which, again, like I said, all those stamped promos tend to go for a little bit more, and I'm clearly very right on this one. But, wow, okay, Detective Pikachu here is $30, which brings our overall value of all of these cards up to a whopping $61.50, which is crazy considering that's only like a fraction of the binder and we definitely didn't price out a couple more and if we could it would probably I think I could get that value to probably like $70 maybe even higher I'm just thinking because I think these are 
a lot of the high value ones we pulled out, but maybe we missed one or two if you guys saw and I didn't, I would love to hear you comment about it. But but I think overall for a, you know, Goodwill thrift store Pokemon collection, I would say that that is a very good success. Gold card there too. Bunch of awesome stamp promos, some super, super cool stuff, and an energy I'm gonna use in my deck as I drop Xerneas there. But overall, I'd say this is an absolute success. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy me picking up a thrift store Pokemon collection and pricing it out, seeing if we actually made our money back, which today I believe we did. And if you do wanna see a video in the future where maybe I try to take some of these cards into a card shop, trade them in for maybe like an alternate art or something of that quality, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. But anyways, this has been another episode of Nate Collects, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.